It's one of the great success stories in crop production history. Tomatoes grown for processing in the 1980s averaged 25 tons an acre, sometimes reaching slightly more on rare occasions. Today, an average field planted in the Central Valley produces 50 tons per acre and often reaches over 60 tons an acre if conditions are ideal. Agronomists have devised a management approach for optimizing applications of nitrogen to crops to minimize leaching of excess nitrate while optimizing crop production. The approach is called the four R's. The right rate, right time, right place, and right source. A fundamental point to remember, any nitrogen source can convert to nitrate and eventually leach beyond the root zone and into groundwater aquifers. So a key component of the four R's is the right amount of nitrogen. Research has shown that on average, a tomato crop needs 4.6 pounds of nitrogen per ton of tomatoes. The tomato plant used that 4.6 pounds of nitrogen from the flowering stage until fruit just begins to turn red. To help understand how to effectively manage nitrogen applications, you need to understand the different forms of nitrogen in the soil and how nitrogen is taken up by tomato plants. These are basically the three forms of nitrogen in the soil. Soil organic matter, ammonium, and nitrate. Soil organic matter is the nutrient storage bank in your soil. In the short term, organic matter nitrogen is tied up in big, complex organic molecules that are not immediately available to plants. But over time, this organic matter breaks down and provides a steady supply of ammonium and nitrate to the soil and the tomato roots. Ammonium and nitrate are the forms of nitrogen that tomato can take up. Being positively charged, ammonium can stick to soil particles which are predominantly negatively charged and hence does not leach easily. Nitrate is the other form of nitrogen that roots can take up from the soil. However, nitrate is negatively charged so it cannot stick to soil particles making it susceptible to leaching. Translated to a management practice, this means spoon feeding or applying smaller amounts over multiple applications. The more split applications, the better. Now let's talk about the right time. Applying the right amount of nitrogen at the right time requires knowledge about the crop nitrogen demand, the seasonal uptake pattern, and the availability of other sources of nitrogen. The UCC studies found that nitrogen uptake differs dramatically based on the plant growth stage. The plant begins using nitrogen five to six weeks after transplanting, after the plants are acclimated. Applying at the peak nitrogen use stages, flowering, fruit set, and fruit sizing goes a long way to increasing your nitrogen use efficiency, increasing plant uptake, and minimizing nitrate leaching. One of the best tools to guide your decisions on the right amount and right time is through leaf analysis. The University of California recently completed supporting research for leaf samples. Having the results early enables growers to react quickly by either holding off additional applications if nitrogen levels are adequate, or adding fertilizer if a deficiency is apparent. So where is the right place to apply nitrogen fertilizers? Typically, the vast majority of important feeder roots are in the top 4 to 16 inches of soil. So it's in that upper zone where you want to keep your water and nutrient applications. And remember, nitrate moves with water, so if you push water below the root zone, you risk pushing nutrients below the root zone also. The right source is about preventing the applied nitrogen from converting too quickly into nitrate and leaching beyond the roots. There are many nitrogen fertilizer product options, but each has its own baggage. Calcium nitrate is a readily available form of a nitrogen, but also has a high leaching potential. This leaching potential can be managed with well-timed applications, and calcium nitrate is well-suited to fertigation systems. The calcium in calcium nitrate can also be helpful for plant health. Urea ammonium nitrate is very popular due to its solubility. The mixture of nitrogen forms makes this a slightly less leachable form of nitrogen, although in warm spring and summer conditions, the conversion to nitrate is very rapid. 
Following these simple steps will go a long way toward increasing your nitrogen use efficiency and decreasing nitrate leaching to the groundwater. Best of all, it ensures you get the most value from an expensive crop input, and in this market, saving every dollar counts.